Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. We're on day, what is it, day three. I kind of forgot my days of the week so far. Uh, we're on day three here on Lapis Lakeside, taking it easy for growth week because we are having a pretty decent chill event for uh, this week. We are going to get 3,016 sneaky snacking. That seems a little bit low, but I'll explain why later on. For now, we're just going to go ahead and jump into everything else. Uh, we are going to grab 100 sleep points. And that is going to put us at 5,793. And then for our daily lottery, we're going to pick up. Uh, let's see. Let's go. Come on. There it is. We're going to grab a small ingredient ticket. Very nice. Very, very nice. All right. So with that out of the way, we can jump into this sleep report and see what we're going to get. I really don't care all that much what sleep type I get. Um, I'm happy to get anything pretty much because we are getting bonus candies. Uh, so no matter what spawns, as long as it's one of the big three that spawn here on Lapis Lakeside, I'm happy with it. Nine hours, 41 minutes of sleep. Very good. Looks like a snoozing sleep type. That's going to be, ooh, maybe dozing though. 10%. That's a lot. 53% snoozing and 37% slumbering. That is, yep, that is a snoozing type. So that means, uh, Ralts? I don't know. I learned a couple months ago i learned because uh people in the comments were telling me hey this is how you remember them and then i you know we haven't been here in a while and and i forgot because my brain's smooth but we did get six spawns not quite the seven that i wanted but 22 million drowsy power is pretty good um so maybe we'll get something interesting um there is one thing interesting that i see that's good something we're probably going to try to catch so we've got a uh, Pikachu, a Persian, a Wobbuffet, an Eevee, a Meowth, and a Slowpoke. Um, cool. All right. Just trying to make sure I covered everybody. No new sleep styles, but that's to be expected. We are running out of sleep styles to find, so um, not surprising. I think every island, I'm like 75 or 80%. Uh, but no one's hungry, and that's unfortunate because I definitely want to catch you. Let's see. A big hit would be nice right about now. Mm, no luck. I do want to catch the Eevee because we need better ones. I have a pretty decent one that I've been contemplating uh, evolving to Glaceon, the one that I showed, uh, I believe it was Monday or maybe uh, at the end of last week. Um, I have that one that I've been contemplating evolving into a Glaceon, but I've seen in discussion in the discord and in the comments it, maybe it's not the best fit for a glaceon that maybe i should look for something a little bit better so i'm kind of on the fence i'm not 100 percent convinced that i need something better for a glaceon necessarily because the one that we have with a little bit of sub skill seed investment would make a good glaceon but if we can find one that doesn't need the seed investment why not you know so i'm gonna hunt a little bit uh, for another Eevee, and maybe there will come a point where I need the Glaceon, so we just go with whatever best Eevee we have for a Glaceon at that point. Uh, but for now, I'm going to send out some Eevee candy because it never hurts to have extra Eevee candy. Uh, we're all going to need a ton of it. Uh, let's see, how much did we get? Only five for that one star sleep. That is kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is. Nothing we could do about it. All right, we are going to grab another uh, 3,200 Dream Shards. But yeah, so that's why we're catching this Eevee, is because, one, we could just use better Eevees in general for the other Eevee Lucians, even if it's not a good one for Glaceon. We do need a better one in general. Um, so let's go ahead and check out. We've got level 13 and Timid. Um, well, I know what the uh, level 10 subskill is. All Milk, that's not too bad. Uh, we got Berry Finding at level 10. Yep. Which is pretty good. That's actually really good. And skill trigger right after that. Ooh, hoo, hoo, maybe we might have a decent uh, Umbreon or Jolteon candidate here. Uh, inventory up M is good. Doubling up with S is not necessarily that good. And ingredient finder S is kind of bad. Timid. I forget what timid is. Ooh, timid is not good. Never mind. Uh, it may not be that bad on a Jolteon. Jolteon is so fast that it may not be the worst. Um, it is going to be bad for the skill triggers, but as fast as Jolteon is, it may not matter, to be honest with you. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. Let's see how this is looking so far. 
Um, maybe even an Umbreon, because Umbreon has such a high skill trigger rate in general. Just the base skill trigger rate is so good that um, maybe the speed of help down doesn't hurt it too bad. Berry finding is very good to have on an Eevee, but that nature... If we do get mint, nature mints at some point in the game, the rest of this outside of ingredient finder is not bad. Um, the double inventory is not the best thing. I would like a skill level up instead of both of them, but it's not the worst either. It never hurts to have enough space to actually get your skill to trigger, but it depends on what skill you have, honestly. Um, you may not be too concerned about your skill triggering in the right scenario. Mmm, very surprised that relative strength is 11%. I mean, it makes sense. Given the speed of help nature down, EV is kind of slow. So it does make a little bit of sense. But it's kind of surprised that it was actually... So once this gets to 100, we can mess around with this a little bit and see if it might be worth evolving. So far, only a PR of 40, but I'm not... I don't know that I would really be concerned with the skill trigger if we made this a Jolteon. Umbreon, maybe we're not at that concerned with the skill trigger rate. Uh, let's see, at 25, we're looking at 1.8 per day on average. That's not terrible, but it's not great either. Uh, let's go to berry strength specifically and go to level 60. Because the calculator cannot go beyond 60 anyway. Yeah, in terms of berry strength, it's super high, which is to be expected. Um, yeah, 89 PR so far at level 55. It may not even go to 60. Oh, it does. Oh, it finished right when I said that. 88. And what about total strength? Is that going to be the same or is it going to get dropped substantially? Mm, it doesn't actually drop too bad. 79 from 88. It does drop eight, nine points, but that's not terrible. Okay, so big question. If we change this to a Jolteon, uh, same sub skills, same nature. Let's not do skill count because we know that's not going to be super great. Uh, let's do total strength actually pretty good still 80 89 so one point higher or no actually 10 points higher than total strength uh the berry strength alone is going to be even higher than that because that's going to be close to 93 i think at the end maybe nope 89 <laughs> one point higher so both total strength and berry strength are one point higher i doubt the expected skill count is going to be that much higher. Uh, I'm just going to go to max because I'm really only going to check at level 25 anyway. Because with the Eevee, it was 1.8 at level 25. With Jolteon, it is 2.087. A little bit higher, but not much. So it doesn't seem like it really helps all that much. The nature may be dragging this down pretty bad. Um... There's not really any sub skill seeds we could invest into this to really make it great. Skill trigger S, could maybe go to a skill trigger M. What does that do? Does that make any kind of difference? Probably not much. I'm 2.3 maybe. Yeah, 2.364. Eh. I don't know. This could be good. Jolteon's main skill, extra helpful. Is not the most useful main skill, so maybe we're not really worried about it and we only have this Jolteon to collect electric berries alongside our Raichu. Uh, let me set this back to skill trigger S, and the only other one I think this might be good for is Umbreon. Uh, so let's see. Let's go, yeah, let's just go ahead and go with expected skill count. We'll look at 25 again. Um... Even with speed of help down, 5.6 skill triggers per day. And it's uh, energizing cheer, I believe. Yeah, oh no, charge energy. It keeps itself energized. Naturally, five times a day. I mean, maybe. Maybe this is a better Umbreon than Jolteon. 
Let's look at total strength. 95 to start with. I think that's about what Jolteon was. Jolteon's total strength was 89 at the end. 89. Berry strength was also 89, I believe, for Jolteon. Mmm. Let's see. 84 all the way at 55. 90. Slightly better. I don't know. I don't know. I think I think Jolteon and Umbreon are the two best candidates for this Eevee. Berry finding on an Eevee is very good, but the question is, do we continue looking for another one? Because we are at level friendship level like 20 something. What is that? 28. So 12 Eevees off of getting to friendship level 40, where we get two guaranteed su gold sub skills at 10 and 25. So maybe, maybe we keep hunting. I'm not really too sure. I'm not too sure what the best thing to do with these Eevees is. Um, Jolteon, Umbreon, or Keep Hunting are the three choices, I think. Um, because I don't think it's really that great for any of the others. We don't want Speed of Help down on uh, an Eeveelution that we actually are looking for the skill trigger. Outside of Umbreon, that isn't really too affected, and Jump Jolteon, whose main skill isn't super helpful. Uh, it's extra helpful, but not super helpful. So... I don't know. Um... I'm going to I'm going to throw this one out to you guys as well. Let me know in the comments below. If that was your Eevee, what would you do with it? Would you keep hunting? Would you turn it to an Umbreon? Would you turn it to a Jolteon? Or do you think it's fit for any of the other evolutions? Because for my money, I'm not really too sure what to do with it right now. Uh, but let's go ahead and move on. It looks like we have some new news. We do have a little bit of new news, not the new news that everybody thought we were going to have. I thought this might finally be the one year anniversary news, but it's not. Uh, it's simply update contents. I guess this was the update I got before I hit recording today. Thank you for playing Pokemon Sleep. This update includes the following improvement. Bug fixes. Cool. Always good that they're fixing bugs, so can't complain about that. And then for, for the community reports, we are going to grab 38 of them with one, two, three. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 that doubled up. Not bad at all out of 38. That's actually pretty good odds. No level ups either. That's all right. That is all right, all right, all right. Okay, and now we can move into breakfast. We are going to click on everybody because they could have skill triggers just like that. 1,059 strength for free. Uh, what about you, buddy? Another skill trigger. Very good. Another 1,200 strength for free. And how about you, buddy? Ingredient magnet? No, no ingredient magnet. Uh, what about you? Nope. All right, last one. Perfect. That's exactly what we needed to happen today because of what I did last night. Good. Most good. Now let's get into breakfast and let's see what we can do. Contrary chocolate meat salad. That's not too bad, honestly. It's only a couple thousand shy of what we were getting with the Calm Mind salad. Again, salad's just kind of ruining my week here. <laughs> Not really helping too much, but we do what we can and we make the best of the situation. I did find a way to make this situation a little bit better, so at least there's that. This should be about 12,000, I think. 11,578, not too bad. What's the contrary meat salad at level 22? All right. I don't think that's going to be enough to uh, climb another rank. Let's see. Almost certainly not. Yeah, no, not even close. Okay, so hopefully, hopefully by dinner tonight, we can have the seven spawns. Uh, we did feed Snorlax a bunch of favorite berries, so we got three small handy candies. That's very good. I'm thinking about doing a thing, and I don't know that I like about what I'm thinking. Um, I forgot to collect from Gardevoir. That would be a good thing to collect from Gardevoir. Want that inventory empty so that we can get more skill triggers. Okay, so... The thing that I did last night to make this situation a little bit better so that we're not wasting too much time with growth week on Pokemon that don't really need to level up. 
Um, I set up two teams. So this is the team we've been using all week. Um, they've been focused on getting berries, trying to get through the ranks quickly. Has not gone as quickly as I would have liked. Here we are though. So what I did last night, before I went to bed, all of them were at 93% energy. So I swapped to this team right before I went to sleep. Kept Gardevoir on the team so that it could get a skill trigger throughout the night. Kept Wall Rain on the team because it does have a sleep XP bonus uh, sub skill. And then I put the three Pokemon that I think most need the XP uh, on the team. Had that be the team when I went to bed last night. As soon as I woke up, went ahead and collected from the three that uh, are getting XP or that were at, focused on getting XP for, collected all their ingredients and berries and then swapped back to this team first thing in the morning. So I did that uh, a, few, a couple hours ago when I woke up and then now let them go ahead and start collecting berries and getting things going for today. Rather than just sitting on this team until I got to record, I felt it was just better to go ahead and swap. So what that does is because these guys were at 93% uh, energy when I went to bed, they do get 5% uh, just by being in the box from me going to sleep and getting a 100 sleep score. So they're at 98. Then we get the skill trigger from Gardevoir, puts them over 100, and through the time that's passed since I swapped them out and until I collected Gardevoir's skill, they're now at 103. So it's like they were the team I went to sleep with. So that's pretty good, and it still gives the team that I want to get some XP the XP that I wanted them to have this week. So it's probably what I'm going to do for the rest of the week, just keep swapping back and forth between these teams just to... As long as Gardevoir skill triggers, because if uh, Gardevoir does what it did the other day and gives me zero skill triggers, then we're going to have a problem. But somebody did suggest a very helpful solution in that case. If Gardevoir drops below 50% energy and has not triggered a skill, use an energy pillow on that Gardevoir to hopefully get it to move faster and hopefully trigger a skill to help the others. Uh, and I think that's actually a really solid idea and a really good use of the energy pillows. So for the person that gave me that idea, thank you. That's a good one. Everybody else needs to remember that for their healer as well. Uh, but that's what we're going to do. We're just going to swap in between these two, go ahead and collect strength, and maybe we might actually hit Master 3 by the end of the week uh, employing this strategy, but it is already Wednesday. We are only grade 4, I think it was. Um, so, so far, not looking too great. Again, salads just being the worst recipe in the game. Uh, not helping all that much. I did also think about, speaking of salads, I also thought about uh, maybe once we get to the seven spawn, swapping into this team to collect some ingredients for the um, Palm Mine Fruit Salad, because that is better than all the other salads that we're making. So I thought about swapping into them for a day to try to get some ingredients stocked up, maybe swap into them throughout part of the day until they get enough ingredients for three salad you know at least two but maybe three and then swap back to the berry team but i don't know if that's really going to pay off because we are going to lose a lot of berry strength by swapping to this team to get the ingredients so i'm not sure if i want to do that yet or just rely on the berry strength and just take that little hit of berry strength overnight by letting this team get the xp kind of thinking that's probably the best way to go but that's the plan moving forward uh, I kind of wish I'd have thought about this sooner but uh, also thank you to the comments for giving me that idea because that was not an idea that I came up with on my own somebody suggested that um, last night in actually in the live stream I think it was suggested so thank you you know who you are thank you uh, for giving me that idea you uh, have definitely helped me in, with my lapis journey this week because it's rough it it's very 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 rough and i don't like it um but that's the plan i do want to one last thing look up how much we need for seven spawns 30 million so we're actually not that far off we only need about about fifty two thousand, just over that just over fifty two thousand strength which we should definitely have from this berry team today Pretty much every time I log into the game and I'm checking five, six, seven times a day, pretty much every time I log in, I'm getting about 10K sneaky snacking. So I definitely think that we're going to hit that by today. And then maybe tomorrow we can think about doing the salads, maybe test it out and see how it works. Uh, but that may hurt us in the long run. So I'm not sure. But that's kind of where my brain's at right now. That's kind of the plans I'm thinking about doing. 
for now, for sure, swapping between the two teams, the Barry team and the XP team at night. Uh, other than that, just going to kind of have to wait and see how it goes. But that's going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you do enjoy these daily videos of my journey into madness and Pokemon sleep. Uh, and go ahead and while you're down there, hit that link to the Discord if you want to come join us, hang out. There's a lot of good people over there having a lot of fun talking about Pokemon Sleep, Pokemon in general, and other video games. So go ahead and hit that link, join us in the Discord. Other than that, thank you again for watching the video. Y'all have a good night, and until next time, later dudes.